Hi, my name is Carlo Ansel. I am the principal and founder at Urban Office Architecture as well as Carlo Ansel Architecture and Design. I have a specific passion for drawing and representation, really think of it as a language, something that allows me to see my own thinking process rather than necessarily a tool to represent things I already know. I thank you so much for sharing this time with me um, and sharing some of the techniques that I use in my work and some of the buildings I designed to create and I, like I said, to see the ideas uh, more clearly and uh, move forward with the process. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Peace. guys so I'm gonna show you an interesting uh, method I use to create uh, or do some design studies or volumetric studies and I'll use this um, on my iPad Pro and there are certain apps that I use but in particular I love using a combination of these two apps uh, Shaper 3D and the Morfolio Trace so let me show you how I do it So I start out with the Shaper 3D and I have here uh, my kind of base uh, plan. So I'll start, I'll do a quick sketch so you can see how I quickly create a 3D volume. So let me go get going with that one first. All right, so I'll start out with drafting and kind of a general outline of the building. Of course, this will be a bit of a uh, faster version. Um, I'm not really working with the scale per se just kind of creating um, sort of a base volume or what could be a small building or something like that. There. So I'll go ahead and again, uh, similar to what I teach in my classes, start out with sort of envisioning an overall kind of geometry of the building. It's not necessarily a floor plan. It's more like a footprint. So from there, it's really cool. I can simply kind of extrude it. Again, give myself some sense of space and proportions. Like I said, I'm not really using a scale. So once I'm done with that, I will do some uh, modifications to the building. So here. So I have kind of a general sort of uh, sense of the building. I could do more of that, but for reasons of uh, practicality, and this is really more kind of showing you the process, I'll go ahead and do um, some other modifications. So what I do like about this is, of course, I can kind of see the volume and I can understand the uh, what I'm gonna be getting out of the, uh, the drawing itself. So I'll continue on, I'll add a few more elements there. here so I'm literally like following the sort of uh, geometric ideas that I would uh, just normally use in uh, my regular drawing process so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of finish adding up a few more details and so we're gonna be ready for the next step So now that I got my main volume down, and of course I can um, continue studying it and kind of spinning it around, um, I can then uh, decide to use more of a perspective view and there's an appearance option and then kind of turns into a perspective uh, view that 
that I can pick. So I can go as distorted or not as I want. Um, and that allows me the uh, kind of flexibility of kind of seeing the kind of view and experience of the building. So I can I can choose any kind of view I, I like or feel good about. So let's say we'll do something like that, for example. So it's sort of a three point perspective. Here. Once I'm locked, now I am ready to actually move it into Morfolio, which is incredibly uh, useful and cool. So the way in which I'll do this is I'll pull up my Morfolio here, just make sure everything's ready to go. And then I kind of go back into Shaper and here, uh, sort of drag my Morfolio trace over here. Now I got the two kind of ready to go. So I have my view here. I am going to uh, export it. OBJ. Alright. That's one. Enter. And continue on. Like that. So now it's ready to go. I'm just simply going to drop it into the more volume. There. I see the plus button. And here it comes. So we're going to take a closer look at the Morfolio side, which is really cool because again, I can still imagine the relationship between the 3D modeling side and kind of the, um, let's call it the uh, rendering or visualization side. But what's really cool about Morfolio is still have the 3D option. So I can still kind of maneuver my model and adjust it if I want to. So let's say I want that kind of view and I'm ready to go. Otherwise I can go back into the model, do some changes and bring it back. And that allows me to really visualize what I'm gonna do. So I'm ready to go into Morfolio. I'm gonna hit okay. And this will pop up. There it is and we're ready. Right All right, so now in the Morfolio Trace, um, it has a lot of very interesting features. Of course, uh, the understanding of geometry is essential, and this, of course, is what I teach and talk about and use in my work all the time. And this comes from, of course, the, the knowledge I've accumulated over the years and the training and the practice. And so, of course, for that, you will need um, to take my courses, any courses that really kind of understand geometry better. But once you do this, then Morfolio has these really cool tools, like, for example, this uh, perspective sort of tracer and it already is matching the perspective that comes in from Shaper 3D which is really cool so I can move my cursor around and literally start sort of retracing the drawing. So I'm going to do this here and I kind of have to move you a little bit back and forth but here you can see I have my uh, my pan. I'm going to use my pan which is what I like and you see these uh, green buttons which is really cool, cool because it tells you which uh, pan thickness or a line weight rather uh, will work uh, best for this scale of drawing. So I'm gonna use a fairly thin one. And like I said, I can move my cursor around and or not. It kind of comes also uh, almost like as a, as a, as a free hand, but yet following the uh, geometry and kind of the rule of the perspective. So I can go ahead and it will just automatically sort of fit into that um, perspective uh, setup, which is, which is really great. So you can see, and then of course I can zoom in and I can do more details here and it will match perfectly well both the um, horizontal as well as the vertical and if I have to adjust so for example I'll zoom a little bit closer just pay a little bit of attention not to move the paper away but I can just adjust it like that and I can start retracing so I'm going to go ahead and kind of retrace the outline of this form. So now I got the complete uh, building or 3D model outline so I can turn off the background and now I have a 
uh, beautiful uh, drawing that I can start now working on top and start adding the details like I do normally, for example, when I do my hand drawings. So it's the exact same process, except it's on the tablet. I have my um, Apple Pencil, and of course, I'm using all the features that Morfolio uses or gives me, which is all the line weight, of course, different pans, uh, the ruler, which is really cool, and the perspective guide. And so I can go in and really start uh, digging into the details, start adding some uh, textures, etc., and and then we'll start talking about uh, shade and shadows and kind of creating the final drawings. So let me go ahead and add the details into this. Excellent. So now that I have my main details done, I'm going to start adding my uh, base colors and shaded shadows. I use um, several of the tools, um, which I'll show you here in Morfolio. Uh, the, the paint roller, for example, one of my favorites, uh, which is a new tool. So a lot of really cool um, tools that allow me to create a drawing very similar to my um, hand drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and show you how it looks. So this is a result uh, of the combination of the Shaper 3D into the Morfolio Trace app, uh, which really kind of um, gives me a very good insight in what where the project could go. Uh, from here, I probably would uh, do a hand drawings and kind of add additional details and start reshaping the forms, etc. But it does give me a very, very good insight um, and possibly even create a presentation drawing that I can, that I can quickly review. And so I really like the portability of the software, of course, and the fact that I can have uh, this with me without carrying the, uh, the, the, the full complete set of tools that I normally use. So I do hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. There's more to come. Again, peace. Yeah.